So this problem was on your review sheet and hopefully this will help you, um, help you figure out um, how to solve one of these word problems. There was no picture with this one, so I just drew, included on my display here a picture of a swing set. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what kind of um, an A-frame swing set we're talking about. So it says here, Clint's building a wooden swing set for his children. Each supporting end of the swing set is to be an A-frame constructed with two 10-foot um, long by 4 by 4s joined at a 45-degree angle. So I believe what they're talking about here is basically one of these sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw that as if we were looking at it um, straight on. It looks something like this. The A-frame, kind of up here, that's why they call it an A-frame because it looks like a capital letter A. Um, says here that this is two 10-foot long 4x4s. So 4x4 is just the size of the wood. These sides are each 10 feet long. And it says this is a 45-degree angle. So I believe that's what they're talking about here. It says, to prevent the swing set from tipping over, Clint wants to secure the base of each A-frame to concrete footings. So he wants concrete footings here and here. So before he builds this thing, he has to figure out how far apart those footings for it should be. So in other words, we would like to figure out that distance. So we'll put a question mark there. Um, this looks like a problem where, you know, I, okay, I really don't need this line here in the middle, but what do I have? I have two sides and the angle in between. That's a side angle side situation. Looks to me like we could do this using the law of cosines because we don't have an angle side pair to play with. So in order to do law of cosines, I'm going to solve for the, tri for the question mark. So I'll call that question mark squared. That means that I'm going to end with cosine of 45. The other two sides are what? 10 squared and 10 squared. So I do 2 times 10 times 10 times cosine of 45. Um, so I've got the law of cosines laid out. Um, I happen to know that 10 squared is 100. So it's 100 times 100, that's 10 times 10 times 2, so minus 200 cosine of 45. Um, adding those two together, the two 100s here, I've got 200 minus 200 cosine of 45. One of the reasons that a lot of people will get this wrong is because they try to, try to do 200 minus 200 and say, well, I got zero for my answer, but that's because this one is connected to the cosine of 45, so I can't really do anything with that. This is where my calculator comes in. So I grab my calculator, and I'll go ahead and do 200 minus 200 cosine 45, exactly the way I see it there. Uh-oh, what did I forget? Looks like I'm missing a zero in my 200. So let's get back here, insert a zero. There we go. So we'll hit enter. Um, so what do I have? I have that the question mark squared equals 58 point, we'll call that 58. And I've got to take that and square root that. So square root my answer. And I have 7 point, we'll call that 7.65. Five. So that question mark is about 7.65 feet long. That would be this one, 7.65 feet long. If you wanted to get real fussy, you could help out our buddy Clint by um, taking that 0.65. If you take that 0.65 and say, okay, that's feet, multiply it by 12 inches per foot, and you can actually tell Clint um, how many feet and inches he needs to mal he needs to separate those two footings by 7.8 inches. So seven feet, 7.8 inches. 
there's your final answer. Either of those would work. Um, now as kids can have fun on the swing set. Yay!